It's, it was a rally of a loser president. I mean, he's the first lo president to lose re-election in decades. And uh, I don't know why these folks would go there and, and you know, in essence, Aglad, and in many cases, sh just short of worship, a loser. <laughs> that was Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger. And lately, he has used that term against Trump a lot. We do move on from has-beens and from losers, and Donald Trump is a loser. He it's the ultimate effort to drive Trump crazy because loser is Trump's biggest insult. We have losers. We have losers. Oh, Rosie's a loser. She's always been a loser. You know, when I watch a George Will or a Charles Krauthammer, you know, I watch them for years. They're losers. They're just losers. He once called a Miss USA contestant a disgruntled loser after she said his beauty contest was rigged. <laughs> Loser's remorse. She lost. <laughs> Trump often likes to cite a quote in his own book. Show me someone without an ego and I'll show you a loser. Former associates of Donald Trump say Kingsinger's repeated reference to Trump almost certainly get under Trump's skin. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. In the few speeches Trump has given since leaving office, or shall I say losing office, <laughs> Trump has referred to Kinsinger and other GOP lawmakers who voted for his impeachment as grandstanders and party hacks. Indeed, in the Ohio speech over the weekend, Trump called the January 6th related impeachment unhinged, unconstitutional, illegal, and a witch hunt. Clearly, the distinction of being the only U.S. president to be impeached twice still rankles Trump. Because after all, getting impeached twice makes you a double historical loser. Now, in terms of being an election loser, Kinzinger was correct. Donald Trump was the first U.S. president to lose after one term since George H.W. Bush in 1992. 28 years before Trump lost. But unlike Bush 41, Trump is so proudly incompetent that he cannot even succeed at being a loser. By constantly repeating the big lie and refusing to acknowledge the election system worked and there was no fraud that would have changed the ultimate outcome, Trump continues to drag all of us through his pathetic, embarrassing show. Indeed, Trump continues to fail at the most basic task facing all of humanity. We all lose at various moments, but Trump, instead of being an election loser, will forever carry the distinction of being a sore loser, an unhinged loser, and a psychopathic loser. And by the way, his strategy is not helping his chances of winning the GOP presidential primary in 2024. The latest survey of Republican voters has Florida Governor Ron DeSantis getting more support than Trump. In other words, even in 2024 polling, Trump is starting off as a loser. Polling for the 2022 midterm elections also shows that Trump is now a drag on most Republican candidates. So Trump is on a pace to help Republicans once again come up short in control of the U.S. House. In other words, the GOP on the House side will continue to be losers. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell blames Trump for the GOP losing the two Georgia Senate seats this winter that caused Republicans to lose the Senate to Democrats. Congressman Kingsinger says it is long past time for Republicans to tell Trump to get lost. It is high time that other members of Congress, any leader, any county official, any Republican official, say the simple thing that Joe Biden was elected president and work against his reelection, but quit pretending like it was stolen because that's really, really dangerous. Donald Trump, though, could care less. And if it means dragging his party down with them, so be it, because Donald Trump, he's a loser.